Good to see you. Right next to you, yeah, yeah. So you're in Florida and you're in the, Car the Carolinas? Or Virginia? No, 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 I'm in, I'm on the Silicon Plantation of Northern Virginia. Oh, Virginia, okay. Okay, great. Northern Virginia, so outside of D.C. and, and kind of the, uh, the Silicon, uh, you know. So, so, uh, so what, what, uh, what, what, what strikes your fancy? You, you, so you're, you're, you've been doing around for a while, and, uh. So, we, we wanted to say, we well, let's take that as a first of all, we want to kind of get an update from you on like what's going on. And then, you know, I don't know if you read our article yesterday. We, 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 I wrote an article, you know, talking about it, about, you know, putting this in this. Yes. And I don't know if you know it, I think I've almost run over you in a segue before, but I, like, I, I actually run a segue at Infocom every year. So that I can get around the conference faster. Oh, I, saw, I think I saw you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so, if there was ever a customer attending trade shows more, okay, okay, play. So, so anyway, um, if there was ever a customer for attending trade shows and conventions more efficiently, I am that person. Okay, we're gonna sign you up. So yeah, so, so, I'm, so I'm trying to figure out, you know, how much of the experience can I really get at being at a trade show? And so then I'm out there doing it. I'll tell you this, the thing I've been impressed with the most is oh. the, the whole real process, how easy you guys made it from the, you know, electronic signing the document to being thrown into a training class to the video to like, I, you know, I mean, it was, it was, it was like amazing. And so what other, you know, what other tricks do you have up your, your sleeve? What did you learn from doing this? You know, give me, you know, what, what, what did you guys learn? Well, we're just learning an organization how to do this. We're not really, you know, uh, we're mostly software engineers, for that, so we're learning how to do all the way from the legal uh, contracts to the uh, um, building the website was uh, probably the easiest thing to do the rental thing. But uh, you know, you know, automating a lot of the stuff and doing all the credit card transactions and all that stuff, and learning about how to, you know, and the biggest problem has been promotion. Actually, just promoting this to people as an option. Right? That, that's the hardest thing by, by far. Right? So, like, people are like, oh, because a lot of problems is people don't even, don't even know what a beam is. And then we briefly say, hey, and a lot of people don't know about robo business either. Right? So it's like, we're telling people, like, oh, beam into robo business, and they don't know both of those things. Um, right. So we're like, oh, it's kind of funny. Like, a lot of people don't know anything about robots. And then, and then, Combining those two together is even, and then, so those are very strange things for a lot of people. So we're at, we're getting a good turnout, and so we're pretty happy. Um, yeah. I, I want to be, um, I want to bring uh, ten thousand of these beams to um, to CES uh, 2015. So your 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 internet's going in and out now. Oh. I'm, I'm still here again. Yeah, I break, I break everything. <laughs> I'm broken, I break it. Yeah, cause I, I, um, I'm pretty sure it's not our local system because David and Heather are like crystal clear. Are you gonna do this? Are you gonna do this at CES? If they let us, it's not. It's not really our pro our decision. It's really their decision. Like it actually took a lot. It took us a lot of effort to get Roll Business to do. Believe really or not, right? Yeah. Oh, you think if anyone would be into it? No. Hey Scott, can I introduce you to my son real quick? Because I wanted to see this. Oh sure, sure. This is guys. This is Scott and Son. Scott I'm driving this robot around. Uh, I'm, I'm driving this robot around. A oh, you got a lot. Convention. He's got a big family there. My robot. Yeah. All right, he's, he's got good football. Go, go, go. Come on. You, you know what's even more fun? It's fun to get, uh, put kids on here and and ride them around. That's what I do at at the home. Um, oh, that's cool too. They sit right down here. And you know what's neat thing about it is that they tell me everything that happened that day when I do this. <laughs> like, I don't know, have you asked your school, hey, what happened today? And they're like, oh, nothing. What happened in school? Nothing. What I do is I beam in, and they, they get they get on, and they drive around, and they tell me everything that happened. <laughs> do you know why? Because I, if, I, if they stop talking, I'm like, okay, get off. And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, I, we went to art class, and, <laughs> and, picture, and I, I did this, and all this, and they're telling us you know, what's going on. So it's like, it's, it's like a, I have like this, uh, you know, they really love it, riding around. Well, you're talking about it. That's cool. But, we, we, but that's definitely not our product. That's not what our product does. You know, so <laughs> it's just a side of the design. So, a few little poles. So, it's 
they can't put their arms around it and they ride it around. So you gotta get you one for your house. Sidetracked on the kids. Okay, so, so I honestly think if you put like 50 of these on the CES floor or on the Expo floor. You didn't hear what I said. I want to put 10,000 of these. Do you have 10,000? Of course you have 10,000. Yeah, of course. So in 2015, we'll have 10,000 and we'll deploy them at CES. Wow. That would be right. awesome. Wow. And so all we need to do is get the OK from CS and we get 20 gigabits per second of networking to make it happen. But all we need is 20 gigabits per second and we can make it happen. That would be awesome. It would be incredible. Now, they don't know about this yet, of course. But that's just my dream. I, you know, dreams. I dream. And, uh, I find if you can dream it, like if you can't dream it, you can't do it. Right? Yeah. But if you can dream it, you dream it and then you go make it happen. Well, it, well, well, I usually dream a lot of things and it doesn't happen, you know? But, but if you can't dream it, of course you can't do it. There's no possible way, right? So, exactly. So, so I dream of things, and then I tell some people about my dream, and maybe it turns into reality. But there's really nothing stopping having 10,000 dreams at the next year. There's nothing stopping. I, I'm talking 2015, not 2014. 2015. We can produce enough of them, and we can do it. All we need is for the, to get the OK from the year to do it, which is probably harder to do than actually. Uh, that's a harder problem. And I'm pulling for you because I like CES is one of the shows that I don't really go to on a regular basis. I've been before, etc. But I would go if I could get a B. That's like a show that I would go if I could get a B. Well, you're missing the point. Yeah. You don't just want one B. You want like ten B. Right. Yes. Yes. Wow. <laughs> yes. That's why you would do ten thousand. Yes. And we could actually um, pilot. We could actually bring in pilots to pilot the ten beam for you. And then you're more of a command center. And you have all these people driving the beams around for you to go to the different booths that you want to go to and set up interviews and all being useful from like interview to interview to interview to do. And you're just like constantly on. It's like having your own camera group. Like and they like, hey, you're power, you're you're live in five, four. And then bam, you're, you're there, right? I like that. It's like teleporting from booth to booth. As I've been like cruising around the, 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 the convention, the first thing that I popped that popped into my mind was the killer app was the autonomous navigation to the exact booth that I want to go to. We already have that built. We already have that built. It's all built. But, but like, so because I'm walking into this event, if all of the vendors were listed on the screen, and I could go and I could take a look, I go, oh, I don't want to go. I'm interested in that. I want to go here, bam. Yeah. Uh, I think you're on your volume a little bit now. Uh, so, um, yeah, we have all that covered. We're just gonna use people to do it all. People are amazing. I mean, like, people can do so many things, and, the, and there's so many people in the world that are looking for a job. And through the internet and through these, you can employ all those people to do all these things you want to do. And they're really good at it. We're, we're, you want to work on that. We want to get that all set up um, so that we employ these people from all around the world. So they're always employed. They always have jobs and they're always doing stuff. Like and helping people out. Basically being the brain behind the system. Because getting, um, getting uh, Computers to do things that people do naturally. Like people do. This is the thing to realize: the things that come easy to you, a person, it, it's so hard for computers to do at all. And the things that are easy for computers to do are really hard for people to do. So we should never be doing the things like getting a computer to do something that a person can do. We should never do because like just use people to do that. Um, I mean, like adding numbers together. People should never add numbers. They should always use computers to do that. But I think recognizing things, like recognize, like, like um, the amount of effort at Willow Garage we used, we did to get like our robots to recognize things, like what a cup is, how to pick up a cup. It's, like, it's incredibly complicated. It is so utterly complicated. But people, little two-year-olds, do it naturally. Mm. I mean, they sometimes make mistakes, but you know, it's uh, it's a real, it's not a hard thing for people to do. And so 
in some ways, um, letting people do things, enabling people to do things, I think there's a huge market for that. Because um, I think the biggest, one of the biggest fears that people have with robotics is that aren't they going to take all, all the jobs away? Like, no, because we're not going to do make robots. We're going to make beef. And we're going we're gonna to employ people all around the world. Does that make sense? Yeah. It makes perfect sense. I mean, how much would you, how much would you pay to have like 10 camera crews um, at the CES? I um, mean, if you had 10 camera crews, and you, but you're only paying them like, to say, twenty dollars an hour, is that 10 camera crews going scouting around, finding the right places, and then and then you can you would then have a view of all 10 machines simultaneously, and you can see what's going on, and you can move your mouse around and hear the audio from any one of the 10, and then you can beam in and like say, hey. I want to I want to talk to you about you know, your cool little widget, and bam, you're there. And so it, it 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 basically magnifies your efforts, allows you to multiply. It. So you have ten beams, and they're all costing ten dollars an hour, or say like twenty dollars an hour. They're only two hundred dollars an hour. Your flight to CES and and just your your cab fare and all those things add up to more than a thousand dollars, right? But if you could do this. You could do it for five hours. And I'm, think about how many stories that you could do in a five hour period. I mean, your brain would be completely waxed afterwards. <laughs> You'd have to go out for a couple of drinks afterwards, you know? But I think you would just get so much work done so quickly that it would be insane. Um, Scott, you're talking to a guy that rents a Segway because he, he feels that you get two conferences for the price of one.